the movie The Young Victoria went on general release in March 2009 and as the title suggests it tells the story of Queen Victoria in her younger days and of a great love for Prince Albert. The film had three producers, the award winning Martin, Martin Sarkozy, Graham King and the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. Emily Blunt played Victoria, Rupert Friend is Prince Albert and Miranda Richardson plays the Duchess of Kent and, Bull, uh, and Jim Broadbent is King William. But the other great star in the film, who may not appear in the main credits, is this Tory, a beautiful tricolour cavalier who played the role of Dash in Queen Victoria's beloved Spaniards. In the film, Dash is played by Tory, who was, was bred by, uh, her kennel name is Karolewski Alicia. She was bred by Hilary Bartlett, who had high hopes of her becoming a successful show dog. But unfortunately, she was undershot. Although being undershot is regarded as a fault in the show ring, for Tori, this fault became a ticket to show business. Whilst out walking, she was spotted by Jill Raddins of Action Stunt Dogs and Animals. Jill was on a film location and at the time immediately fell for Tori. After some lengthy discussions and deliberation, Hillary, somewhat tearfully, agreed to sell Tori to Jill. She was soon trained for a film role and proved herself to be absolutely ideal. In between filming, Jill said that Tori was enjoying herself running through the hedges and even swam across a lake in pursuit of some ducks. Jill has also trained her in agility, a sport that Tori has really taken to and adores. But the highlight of the year was on November the 22nd when the Fido Awards, which is the equivalent of the Oscars or BAFTAs, were held at the South Bank in London. These are the equivalent for animals in films, and Tori won the top award for a dog in the, in the historical film, and also for the best overall animal in the film. Now Sonia's just going to take her through some of the versions. Carry on. Really see why she's a star. I really wish that my dogs were that more behaved. <laughs> Thanks very much, Sonia. Now, she's also been in some other productions recently, um, Midsummer Murders. Yes, Midsummer Murders. Um, she had to go into some bushes and she emerged with a big dagger in her mouth. She didn't create, she didn't do the murder, I have to say. She, uh, she helped to catch the conflict. And, uh, and any other work lined up? Um, she was in an uh, episode of Doc Martin, which they're showing at the moment, the, the repeat of the series four. Um, but she's actually filming on Monday. We're going up to Derbyshire, my husband Tom and I, and uh, it's, it's not a very nice story, I'm afraid. Tori is uh, walking in a park and then she's attacked and killed by a rockbiler. <laughs> she's not really dead. <laughs> Of course, the, those of you are, are, are soap opera fans and watch EastEnders may remember Wellard, the dog from EastEnders. That was another one, a part of the uh, Action and Stunt Dogs team, that's right. That's correct, yes. Jill owned uh, the three dogs that played Wellard. It was the grandmother, the mother and uh, the daughter over the 14 years that there was a Wellard in EastEnders. A lot of people say the dog was the best actor or actress on the series. <laughs> Uh, and also in the vehicle over there is Dodger, who plays the little dog in Doc Martin now, that naughty terrier who's always jumping in the van, in the car, and in the surgery of Martin Things. And there's another one of the, uh, your team, is it, in the, is it the Harvey's Ed Burton television? Uh, yes, we've got a little Bichon cross that was the little dog jumping on the furniture. Um, there's a, a new dog which will appear when Midsummer starts filming again. It's all
Lulu. Lulu. You know. Hello, Ugly. Ha <laughs> ha.